Christmas continues right here on the show. We're going to be putting together a appetizer Christmas wreath. I, I selected uh, more appetizers for Christmas than I did desserts because I think more people will try the appetizers. Uh, I think everybody's trying to stay away from the desserts. So anyway, we're going to be designing a wreath here. We'll bring you in close to show you all the ingredients. There's some really delicious food that's going on this plate. I know what you're thinking. There's a lot of ingredients here. You're like, Jack, there's no way I can make this. Trust me. This is one of the easiest recipes I've ever printed out and attempted. I know this can be super easy. Start with an eight inch round plate. We got this one from Home Goods. All right. And you're going to make sure you have all the ingredients. Let's run over all the ingredients. Cocktail toothpicks, not the regular toothpicks, the longer ones. The little cheese balls. They got these little pieces of cheese, okay? They're called cheese pearls. Uh, rosemary. We got salami right here. Got cherry tomatoes right here. Oops, let's put the rose, another rosemary right there. We got also some basil. We do some basil. Got some black olives. We're gonna do black olives. Got these, what are they, the cherry peppers. Mm, mm, mm. Love cherry peppers. I don't know if you guys like artichokes. And if you don't like any one of these ingredients, leave it out. Replace it with something else. I don't know. And then you got the green olives. Uh, I don't even know how to... What are these? The Kalamata olives? Those are the Greek olives, right? And then we got the black olives. Oh, I already told you about the black olives. We have like multiple packages of each ingredient to make sure we can fill 30, at least 30 of those toothpicks, all right? So let's get started laying out our plate. You ready? So this is a very kind of confusing. You can kind of do it your own method. You can swap ingredients if you don't like what we're using. But how are we doing the first one? We're going to do this pepper here. We're doing a cherry pepper first. Can you keep by the plate for me? Thanks. So they can see what you're doing there. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like art class. Not then sure. we're doing a basil leaf. Cut the artichoke heart in half because they're just way too big. And then we're going to grab a piece of cheese, put that on there. We're going to grab a piece of meat, and you can have to double that. You have to double that as they did on the, on the picture I saw. Okay. Are you going to run out of room? Then squish it. Go olive. Okay. So we may not get all the ingredients on one of the cocktail toothpicks. There you go. There you go. So we can randomly... Put a black olive at the end, a kalamata olive at the end, a tomato at the end, whatever you want to do. Okay? So then we mix it up. So we're going to do about 30 skewers of these random items we, we listed. So as you can see, Tammy's been putting all the ingredients on the cocktail sticks and randomly laying them out around the perimeter. Not in the middle, but she's making it wreath-like, of course. That's what we're trying to do. Okay, sometimes when you're going through a recipe... You gotta make changes as you go. Something's too thin, you gotta add thickener. You get my drift, right? So this is supposed to be 30 skewers, which we feel is gonna be way too big for the eight inch plate. So we're gonna upgrade this to a 10 inch plate in a minute. Right now we're just using the eight inch plate to stack all our skewers. Then we'll show you how to lay it out with the rosemary. So we went to a bigger plate and as you can see, we've laid out the rosemary a little bit. We have one package. We still have a few things of rosemary over here to add in later. But this is the base. Then we're going to lay all of our skewers in there. Between each of them, on top of them, whatever. Just to show. Just to show it. It gives it that wreath look. Tammy did an amazing job. Look at this. It's beautiful. We're going to lay this out and have friends over. And we're going to be digging into this in a minute. Look how beautiful that is. Ho, ho, ho. Is that awesome? Yes. All right. That's beautiful. Go ahead. I'll let you pick one first. And I'll pick uh, this one right here. Oops. Oh, my That's pepper. That's why you don't pull. Why do you pull underneath? I, that was the end that was sticking know. out. What yeah, do you mean? You pull the bottom layer. You just pull the bottom layer. Oh. Mess everything up. Man, we're filming me messing this up. Yeah. I'm sorry. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Super simple. A lot of ingredients, but easy to make. And a beautiful tabletop decoration, too. So give this a try this year. Let me know what the people think that come over. All right? We'll see you on the next episode. Love you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.